Hello folks, this is a 2011 May June paper 41 and the question number is 9. It is concerned with the operational amplifier which we often call as OPM and it belongs to the chapter electronics. The first question says an operational amplifier may be used as a comparator. State the function of a comparator. So a comparator actually compares two inputs. Uh, two inputs. So it compares. It compares uh, two input signals. Two input signals or voltages. Voltages or, or signals. Signals. So what it does is, um, what it does is, uh, if uh, they are equal, if equal, if the e two inputs are equal, the output is zero. Output equal to zero. And if uh, not equal, if not equal, what it does is. If they are not equal, the output uh, output follows uh, follows which one is greater follows the greater one follows the greater one. So if the input at the uh, inverting input is greater, the output will be negative, and if the input at the non-inverting input is uh, higher, the output will be positive. So number B, uh, we are given a we are given a, a certain graph here, which shows the variation of a resistance of a thermistor along with temperature so a particular node should be uh, somewhat like this so at uh, uh, 2.5 degrees celsius the resistance is around 3.5 kilo ohm and at around 25 degrees celsius the value of uh, resistance is around 1.4 kilo ohm so let's go to the uh, next page next page uh, the thermistor this thermistor whose property has been given here the thermistor is uh, connected into the circuit of figure 9.2 so it has got two, two arrangements here one arrangement has got a variable resistor x and a thermistor in series the other has got uh, simply two equal resistors in series the output from here and here goes to the non-inverting and the inverting input of an op amp we have no feedback here the only things we have is the, are the power supplies and we have to calculate v out from here so this op amp has been considered as as ideal so right now, the temperature of the thermistor, which is this thermistor, let us name it as a, a T here. Uh, let us say, uh, I can say RT here. So uh, temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Determine the resistance of the variable resistor X, so this thing, such that the outer potential V out is equal to zero. So we have to have this V out equal to zero. So let us first remember that if we want V out equal to zero, we must have, we must have uh, the voltage here, so let me name them. So let us name this point as A, this point as B, this point as C, and this point as D, and this point as D. So what happens is here we have got this VCD, VCD. Since there are equal resistances here, the potential difference of 5 volt will be divided equally between this and this, between this and this. So I must have, I must have VCD equal to uh, VAC e equal to 2.5 volt each because of equal resistances they have been divided equally so here I have VCD is equal to 2.5 volt VAC also is equal to 2.5 volt so in order to have this V out equal to 0 I must have I must have this thing so this is uh, uh, let us say 2.5 volt and from here to here also it is 2.5 volt like this now what I must have is I must have the PD potential from here to here this also should be equal to 2.5 if you want to have this V out equal to 0 so that requires that this VB, VBD so this VBD should also equal to 2.5 volt so this thing 2.5 volt and since it is 5 volt here the remaining this also should be equal to 2.5 volt so that means uh, v uh, let us say a b v a b should also be equal to 2.5 volt so now <coughs> so that means that means so if there are equal resistors uh, equal uh, potential differences and this is the whole one their resistance should also be equal at this moment so rt should be equal to rx or simply x at this moment now from the graph from the graph at 10 degrees Celsius at 10 degrees Celsius we have got this resistance of the thermistor is equal to 2.5 kilo ohm so it is RT is equal to RT is equal to 2.5 kilo ohm 
so it means that 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 that, that this x should also be equal to 2.5 kilo ohm so this is the value of x here so it is 2.5 kilo ohm or, or i can write i can write it it has a 2500 ohm now the resistance of a uh, uh, resistor x is held constant held constant held constant and uh, we are varying and we are varying uh, the temperature of the thermistor so we have to describe the change in the upper potential v out as the temperature of the thermistor is changed from 5 degrees celsius to 20 degrees celsius so we'll change its temperature from 5 to 20 so at 5 degrees celsius at 5 degrees celsius let us see from the graph here at a 5 degrees celsius celsius the thermistor has a resistance of let us say this is this this is this 3.1 3.1 so this is 3.5 and this is 3.1 so rt is equal to rt is equal to t is equal to 3.1 3.1 kilo ohm 3.1 kilo ohm so it will be 3.1 kilo ohm which means that uh, the resistance is high it has got uh, uh, 2.5 kilo ohm 2.5 kilo ohm from here from here and it becomes 3.1 so it is greater this greater means we have now vbd will be more than more than this thing this is constant so this is uh, not constant so this vbd will be more than this uh, vcd so vbd applies at the inverting terminal this thing at the non inverting terminal so the voltage at v minus is more than v plus so 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 the output will be or will be negative high negative high which can go up to minus 9 volt so v out should be equal to minus 9 volt in this case so at 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 20 degrees celsius we have rt is equal to let us again take this page here at 20 degrees celsius the the resistance is equal to so from here it is 1.0 1.5 so it is 1.75 kilo ohm 1.75 kilo ohm which means this is vbd now so if this resistance is smaller so let us see x is 2.5 kilo ohm and this is smaller smaller means that this will be less than vcd so this vcd this is vbd so vbd should be less than vcd which means now v minus is less than v plus so v plus is dominant which means the output should follow it so it should be plus 9 volt so at 5 minus 9 at 20 it is plus 9 so that means somewhere somewhere when it is at 10 degrees celsius there is a there is a switch there is a switch of v out v out from from minus 9 volt to 9 volt because there at that time v out was equal to 0 so it switches from minus 9 to 9 volt exactly at 10 degrees celsius as given by the former question so this is the answer to this question